it's astonishing that you've reminded President Putin's speech in Munich. He said that the biggest disaster the last of the previous century was the collapse of the Soviet Union. Yeah. Or 2005, something like that. It doesn't matter, but he said it. And it seems to me that the West was a little bit deaf, you know? Everyone was thinking, he's just kidding, you know? This is just a funny joke. It's just a leap says. He was not kidding. In 2008, he invaded Georgia. In 2008, he succeeded in Bucharest when Ukraine was actually rejected to sign membership action plan for NATO. Then he illegally annexed Crimea. Then he sent his troops to Donetsk and Lugansk. Then he, well, before he started to sponsor radical forces in Europe in order to split the unity in the European Union. So he started to do his utmost to undermine transatlantic unity and the unity in the European Union. He was not kidding. And he is not kidding. He spent billions of dollars to modernize his military. In 2007, just to remind you, Russia withdrew from the CAP treaty, from the Conventional Forces in Europe treaty. So they started preparations for invasion both into Georgia and into Ukraine. They must have minded, I would say, a perfect propaganda machine even in Europe, even in Germany, even in the US. So they have a number of their proxies and envoys in different countries trying to promote their agenda. So Russia posed a real threat to global order. Once again, it's all about the facts. What is needed right now, and I have to reiterate this message, a strong unity is needed. This is the only right response to this kind of threat. Uh, my country spends more than 5% of our GDP for the military expenditures. Look at NATO member states. You are under this threshold. So countries need to increase their military expenditures. We need to find the proper answer how to fight with the Russian-style propaganda. Because they easily penetrate hearts and minds of European people. So strong unity, very strong agenda, increase in military expenditures, sanctions against Russia, and the key thing is that the free world it has to stay on its bedrock, on the key values and principles of the free world. Democracy, freedom, and independence of every single country.